let's talk about energy interference. I don't know if I want to go into like possession. That seems a bit much or an energy overlay. So these are terms that when I've done readings for people, they've just come up. And, you know, when I'm doing a reading, I just sort of trust the language as it comes through. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to get into this. What is the difference? How do you know that this is happening? And I want to start off by saying that a lot of you will not even perceive this. It won't even be a thing for you. Okay. Because you're here to be human, deeply in your human existence. You're somebody who, you know, once got excited over prom, Maybe I'm just a weirdo. I never understood why prom was such a big deal. I mean, I liked getting a dress and all that, but most important night of your life? I'm sorry. Wait, why? <laughs> don't answer it. I just don't, unless you want to leave it in the comments. But, you know, listen. But, like, if you're one of those people who um, you really get into football games, like you get crazy into football games and you really, okay, now I'm getting myself in trouble with this video because you guys are going to be like, wait, now we're not angelic souls because we like football. Uh, not saying that exactly. What I'm saying is what do you get hyper over? Okay. Uh, what runs your life? Uh, now, if it brings you joy, run with it, baby. Okay. All day run with it. If it brings you joy, if it gets you competitive, and stupid and nutty maybe don't do that maybe maybe calm yourself down okay but that's gonna be some of you out there for others of you who are very sensitive you are lighted souls angelic souls now again that's not going into this idea of the incarnated angel that does not happen fight me on it okay <sighs> I'll die on this hill. Okay. <laughs> no, an, an actual angel soul. Hi, that's why my whole business is called my whole business. My whole channel is called that is because there are angelic souls, angelic souls that come in and into this realm and, and do what they can to help others. Um, whether that's by example, to bring comfort, try to bring some serenity to people. Um, uh, yeah, you're going to be the ones that feel this the most. And you might, this is the feeling of someone who's been an outsider for a good part of their life as well. For you, you probably on a daily basis feel energetic interference and energy overlays, and you definitely would not permit a possession. Now, if somebody out there wants to know what's the difference between possession and channeling, um, in my head, possession is just involuntary, bad intentions. Um, this is my body now, you know, <laughs> I live here now. I don't know. It's that channeling is an agreement. It's, it's a very benevolent, high frequency agreement. Um, preferably not everybody does it this way, of course, but in this realm, uh, with a very high frequency being, that is going to allow a, a sliver of their energy field to speak through a person. Now, some people say it's all the same. That's just my take on it. I'll lay it down for your consideration. But if you are an angelic soul, you are going around feeling people dipping in and out of your energy field. Uh, it's that kind of thing where you're having a great day, you're having a great day, and all it takes is for that dark entity that's working through someone to not say good morning to you. <laughs> right? now, now, in our earthly realm, people are like, that is you're being ridiculous. But no, it, it's an energy exchange. And you are somebody, you know what's going on uh, before anybody even says anything or you walk into a room, you got a feeling for what already went down in that room. And it can be very tough. It can be incredibly tough. You can feel um, energy imprints as well so someone trying to imprint on you don't don't sit here and talk about what was that what was the movie the vampire vampire you know what we're talking about anyway you know that's where someone uh kind of comes in and they affect you so deeply it's like they've almost i've got ridiculous examples here but they've like sort of indented your energy field and then you have to put your energy into kind of popping it back out yeah I, I told you it's not it's not poetic here i that's not how my brain is functioning today, but I wanted to get this out. <laughs> so 
<laughs> you know, maybe on another day I could be more eloquent about it. But yeah, that's that's that person. You know, a very good example would be the uh, person who's constantly mentally and emotionally abusive to someone. They're constantly imprinting in you, putting putting their stamp on you, right? Uh, it's your branding and, and trying to make their mark on you. So that is one form of it. Another form of energetic imprinting would be how you were raised, the, the family dynamic, how that gets imprinted on you. And that can be, oh, it, it can last so long that you go into your adulthood still functioning with certain fears or certain ideas about how life goes. And maybe one of those things that you've been taught is that nice people finish last. I'm not even going to say any more about that. I'm not even going to take that seriously because it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth that discussion and putting energy behind it. So that is something that you want to be aware of if you are a sensitive I'm not talking just emotionally sensitive. I cry at the drop of a hat or people make me angry really easily. That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. We're talking about people who, if you know, you know, I, I don't think I can explain it anymore. If you know, you know, uh, now the energy overlay, this is something else. This is where someone keeps trying to splash. <laughs> Again, I don't have the right words for it. They're trying to like, I don't they literally overlay their energy on to you. You're having a good day. I'm going to make sure you have a bad day. That kind of goes back to that example of someone not saying good morning to you or they're this thing of the cold shoulder. Um, that's emotional abuse. That's a manipulation uh, to make you feel offset. Uh, that's energy overlay. So that's where, you know, you get into things like I was saying about sports. Now that can be an imprint if you take it really seriously or it can be an energy overlay. And that energy overlay might be you get a charge out of a competitiveness of things. Now again, it gets it gets nuanced, but if if it's like fun competition, you guys are having fun with it, okay. But if it was competition, like you're going to put your fist through a television because your team lost, um that warrants an evaluation. So don't sit around and just laugh at people like that. Get them help. They need help. All right. So what can we do? What can we do when we're around people? Well, I'm going to tell you that I was born in like this, like many of you. I was not treated well as a child. I felt like I felt like very much a target. And in this society, if you say something like that, people say, oh, you're feeling sorry for yourself. You're this, you're that. They don't get it. They don't get it. Okay. Like it, like this stuff happened. It wasn't made up, but it was like, here's a way that, you know, uh, you have more crazy stories than anybody would ever be willing to listen to. Maybe you've even tried to go to therapy and you had to stop halfway through and ask the therapist if they needed a break because so many things have happened that they can't handle listening and they are trained professionals to listen. Okay. Uh, that sort of thing. So if you have one of those stories that you feel like you've had to keep close to your chest, because if anybody, if you did start coming out with it, it would take hours to say everything and people would think you were lying, right? Because how, how does that possibly happen? Well, lots of things do typically happen to an angelic type soul or to a light being soul, whatever, however you want to see that. Why? It's like we come in here going, yeah, we remember being powerful. Let's go. What, what, what is this? Let's go. Ahead. Oh, gosh. Why are humans like this? <laughs> not that we're not human. We're, we're, in, we're humans. Okay. But like you're looking around and going, why are people? So you go in there to kind of see what the dark underbelly is. You walk into the dark room and then you find what you didn't want to find. And for whatever reason, that's very important for us. Well, I shouldn't say for whatever reason. I, I think it's important for us to see that stuff because then we can go seek out or maybe not seek out, but uh, we then become an attraction point for other people who are going through something that they can't handle. So let me explain that because I don't want this to become like a codependent thing. 
um, someone avoiding their own mental health, you you need to take care of that by going, well, that happened to me, but I don't need to work through it because I'm an angelic soul. And I just was going through that to understand it so that when I come across, please don't ever say regular human. You need to stop it. If somebody says that, they're nuts, okay? <laughs> please. Um, but then you come across somebody who uh, maybe isn't made of the same stuff you are, maybe doesn't carry the same life's path or purpose, whatever the case may be. And you're like, yes, I will, I will be a support to you and help you go through this. Um, that, that's not really what we're talking about here. You're not supposed to go out saving everybody. Now, what that can look like is you going through all these experiences and then you end up in a very unlikely place and you end up striking up a conversation with someone just as an example. And as they start talking, you realize they just need to be heard and understood. Now, I'm not talking about somebody just, you know, being self-indulgent and trauma dumping and doing all that. I'm talking like a real, again, unlikely kind of connection, unlikely kind of moment where you can offer that light. Please don't run away with this. We're such black and white thinking beings. That's another way of finding out that you are an angelic soul because you, you don't see things black or white. You understand the balancing of energies. You understand the balancing of the universe. And you realize that without the dark, you wouldn't be able to perceive the light. You would take the light for granted. You need the contrast, right? That's how you understand what you're looking at, right? So this is something that uh, as, as time goes on, you know, you're going to realize on a deeper and deeper level that it's not about the cerebral, it's this or that, I have to choose a side, starting to embrace your naturally balanced nature if you have not sold out. Now, unfortunately, we've seen some people come into this form and almost become not quite fallen angels, but sort of along those lines. Like they come in, they fall for the narrative and they fall down completely. So being aware of what feels like an invasive kind of energy or an imprinting kind of energy energy overlay and knowing the difference everyone's going to have a different experience with that but the way I kind of experience it I don't know if you guys experience it the same way but an energy imprint now gets me going no like someone's really trying to put their <laughs> their nonsense <laughs> into me or they're playing games with me I'm very matter of fact and I just push my energy back out you're not doing this and then I, cause I will, I will get kind of steely about it. Uh, and then I have to go into, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And even just saying that will help you lift up your energy so that you're not still in that low place. Cause if someone ticks you off, right? <laughs> Especially if you are somebody who's out here to help people transform by being the mirror or being the feedback person, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, you, you need to uplift yourself. Now the energy overlays for a lot of people that feels like a minor annoyance. It's sort of like, no, -uh, it's not that it's this, 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 and how could you not see it my way? And you might be like, Ugh, okay, <laughs> you know, like shake that off. Ancestral karma, those kinds of experiences or ancestral patterns that get passed down. Um, that might be like really like a deep imprint. Uh, so be aware of that. A lot of you will probably be here to work that back out. And you're already whole and complete. You're just being a shinier, I don't know, more evolved oh. <laughs> version of yourself. Now, energetic interference. This is where some, this is where we start getting into like people are doing some stuff behind your back. Maybe it is spells or whatever. Um, they're really trying to block you. Now that on an angelic soul, when someone's trying it, very detrimental to the person who flung it your way and you don't have to lift a finger. People who have abused you throughout your lifetime, very detrimental to their soul. 
you can't mess with an angelic soul, especially one that has not lost their way, one that has come in and taken on the role of this, you know, human existence or whatever, just being the best human that you can be. And you're coming in and trying to mess with that. Yeah, it's not great. Now, if you're sitting there going, well, how do I become an angelic soul? You know, is it, can I, can I be a part of the club? Well, listen, <laughs> it's not a club. <laughs> It's not a club at all. Um, it's just, it, it, it's not like this coveted role either. Just be who you are and, and you'll be of that frequency. Be loving and kind and strong and you will be of that frequency. You don't really need a label. As a matter of fact, the only reason why I'm putting the label on it here is because that's the world we live in. You know, I mean, that's, it is what it is right? So make sure you're not tolerating too much. Watch and feel out what those energy interference, imprinting, uh, the energy overlay. See what's going on there. I'll give another quick example of an energy overlay. If you go into a space and you come out feeling absolutely overwhelmed. Now that could just be the, you know, too much energy gets you tired. Right? That could definitely be that. That's another part of it. Um, but if somebody came up to you and said something that was kind of rude, underhanded or whatever, um, and you walk away feeling kind of, ugh, you know, and maybe even a little drained. Drained, in my opinion, is more of an imprint type of effect, but the overlay would be kind of, again, that minor annoyance of, ugh, can't believe that person said that to me, whatever. And you shake it off and you get on with your life. And, and, you know, you don't let that keep layering on top of you. Uh, for some of you too, I'm getting the example of children, um, namely adult children who maybe take you for granted or um, assume that you're supposed to keep taking care of them or you're supposed to be upset if they're upset. You offended me and that's against the law, didn't you know? You know, those kinds of things. Like for some of you, that becomes more of an imprint because you're invested um, energy interference can come through that way as well. Again, you're having a wonderful day to yourself and then somebody comes along and wants to take it, right? They want to drag you down. Or I think for most people with kids, it's the overlay. <laughs> it's the overlay. If you have a moody teenager, I couldn't think of a better example than that. Okay. Like you're doing great. Like, good morning, honey. It's like, leave me alone. I'm in my feels, you know? So, you know, that could be an energy overlay as well. Please be careful with teenagers because that is a very hard time. So make sure that if they are, you know, withdrawing or whatever, or they're in a mood that you're trying to support them, okay, as much as you can. So let me know if you have further questions on this. What did this get you thinking? You know, do you think you're an angelic soul? Do you think that you do have energy imprints? Um, energy interference. We could get into attachments here as well. That would be energy interference where it gets, you know, an entity gets stuck in your energy field. There's the idea of monitoring spirits. I, I've always heard that um, more from like the Christian standpoint, but essentially it is a soul that attaches to someone else and watches everything that you do. I guess they could attach to you too and they're kind of monitoring you but they most, in my opinion, they mostly, this idea of monitoring spirits, they work through another person. They'll work through someone else because especially if you are an angelic high, high frequency soul, it's harder for them to attach. It's not impossible. It happens, but it's harder for them. What <laughs> cute kid, like <laughs> an oiled up pole and the squirrel like sliding down. That's what it, that's the image that just came in my head. I, listen, I did not say I was... <laughs> feeling sane today. I don't, I don't know, but that's the example that I got, but it's, it's a little bit harder for them to, to stick. Okay. Now, when you're in a low place, it makes it easier. And if you get into a really low place, they can come on in. That's why, you know, I don't, I don't want to sit here and say people who get into a low place, well, they ended up getting what they deserved. I would never say that that's insane, but we want to be mindful. Okay. And if you ever do get into that low space, of course, always reach out and get help. There's something in your area. I promise you reach out and get that help, but you know, make sure you don't stay in that space as much as you can. 
you know, as much as you can do that. But yeah, the monitoring spirit, they will probably attach onto someone who lets it happen. And dare I say, even invites it in. This would be a very Machiavellian type person. This is the person that doesn't even act like a healthy human being and they get even more aggravated. That's a good sign that someone has a monitoring, if you'll call it a monitoring spirit attached to them. And then they follow you everywhere, watching you, diminishing you, trying to get you in compromising positions. So then you have to lean on them and it'll be all done under the guise of, but I care so much, right? So be careful with that. If you feel like you have a monitoring spirit with you or that it's happening through someone else, and again, you're getting that energy interference, the imprinting or the overlay, the solution to that is to not care about it. Now, what I mean by that is not go, oh, well, I've got this weird spirit following me around. Cool. You know, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying you have no power here. And for me, I, I would say in the name of Jesus Christ, I, I demand you leave. You have no place here. For you, you might want to choose something else if you're not comfortable with that. If you have bad associations with Christianity, there you go. Do you think? Okay. But <laughs> we have to do everything very, very lovingly so that we don't then become the one who's imprinting or interfering or having an energy overlay. That's why I'm very ethical when I'm doing angelic readings for people. I will not dive into other people's souls. That is not what we do. It's God's law. We don't interfere with human free will. All right. So leave your questions down below. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.